So now let's create the first floor slab as well. So let's go to architecture, click on floor. We can use another type here. So let's go with concrete six inches this time. This is placed on first floor slab top. Let's use pick lines and let's pick the exterior face of our core structural wall. In this case, we can simply select the CAD lines as well. Perfect. So I've selected all the lines and now I can use the trim tool and trim off all these lines. Perfect. Once I'm done, I can click on finish edit mode. Okay. So sometimes you can notice that we have some errors here. Lines cannot intersect each other. So maybe when you have two lines in the same position, you have this problem. So you can simply delete those lines or you can undo. Let me double check where that problem is. Yeah, so the problem was not this line, so I'm going to undo, but rather a horizontal line here. So make sure to make a drag selection just to make sure that you have only one line here. And in case you have two lines, it highlights in Revit. So you can see that our pink line turns blue. So I'll need to simply select that and delete it and then click on finish edit mode. Now, generally, when you click on finish edit mode, you get this option here, which is whether you would like to attach your walls to the floor, click on don't attach. So we've created our top floor slab here as well. 